Hey everybody, welcome to Sedona Creek Talk, where things may not be what they seem. Here we are. We're back at the scene of the crime. We got a little bit of weird lighting going on. We're going to do another recording when the lighting's better, but we're doing a little early practice, different topic type thing right now. Uh, we're at the Red Rock Crossing, Sedona, Arizona. Uh, what's the date? Today is 8-25-2023, and uh, you know, after doing a hundred shows or so in this very location back in COVID times, back in 2020, we talked and covered about a lot of topics. <laughs> I was sitting here earlier um, digesting that or, or reminiscing on that, and um, we talked about a lot of different things. We talked about... Um, all the different conspiratorial stuff that was going on, all the political stuff that was going on. There was a lot of predictions made. Um, and one thing I realized is probably not good to make predictions. And uh, as bad as things seem, the uh, amnesia that they spray on us out of the chemtrails, <laughs> uh, well, that's conspiratorial, amnesia that they spray on us out of the chemtrails, um, it just, you know, so things didn't really happen. Nothing really gnarly happened. But at the same time, all kinds of crazy outrageous shit happened uh, since 2020. And, you know, it, it, it's funny how we, we, uh, we get nervous, we get freaked out. Um, you know, oh, my God. You know, I, I listened to these podcasts, a couple of them last night, about CBDC, the Central Bank Digital Currency. And it's happening this year, and it, you know, I, you know, I've been hearing this shit for years, and it, it's not happening, and it, it's not still not happening. And if you listen to those podcasts a couple years ago, um, we should be full blown, no cash, cat, you know. So, I guess, you know, I learned is you got to watch what you say, especially if you're recording it, because you're going to say a bunch of crazy shit, and then people are going to be able to come back and go, "Look, dude, you said that, and shit didn't happen." So. Um, I don't want to be that guy, but at the same time, there's bad shit happening and weird shit happening all over the place, and, and you know, I'd rather be abreast of possible bad shit happening and be able to handle it when it happens and be prepared, not scared, uh, than just saying, oh, nothing ever happens and nothing's going to happen, and oh, gosh, we're the United States, and we're the biggest, gnarliest, coolest country in the world, and you know all that kind of stuff so um but it was it was it was kind of refreshing to sit here uh, in my chair i was pointing a different direction i'm trying to get this lighting to have it look cool for you guys but i'm sitting there going you know you talked about a bunch of really radical crazy stuff and a whole bunch of it didn't happen um a whole bunch of it was outrageous and stupid but yet a whole bunch of really gnarly bad stuff happened. I mean, like, 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 if you just, you know, you look at, I mean, I don't even want to get into talking about too much politics, but if you look, I mean, you got a president that, you know, obviously has some kind of problem, and he may not even be who he really is, and, and you know, I mean, we've got CGI stuff going on where his hand goes through the microphone, so some of it's CGI, computer-generated imagery, um, could be somebody in a mask, we're obviously seeing one version of this person who doesn't look like another version of the person so that it looks like there might be three or four different you know presidents of the United States and we obviously know that somebody that uh, messed up is not running the damn greatest country in the world and all this kind of stuff so but whatever I don't even like giving this guy any any uh, stroke so but uh, and that's not why I'm here to, to talk and do this film but that's what we used to do when we when we did film down here in the uh, Oak Creek at Sedona Red Rock Crossing, Yavapai County, Arizona, and uh, um, I'm gonna give you this little sneak look at my uh oh there's a mermaid over there look at her huh the mermaid look at her people don't realize in this vortex infused charged water coming off a of cathedral rock it's a double vortex both female vortexes if there's there's like mermaids, like look at that. There's a mermaid sunning on the rock over there right now. I know. And and 
and you notice when I started talking about them, the cicadas, you hear them? Up, you can hear them. They're a, a locust type thing. It's very biblical, of course, you know. Um, so, but it's been magnificent to be here. We were here last night with uh, Edward Dusak, Navajo Lake Lodge, Utah. Um, Navajo Lake Lodge on Facebook and, and uh, Instagram. Magnificent place up at the top. And I don't want to say magnificent again. I think I said it two or three times. And that I hate people that make videos and keep saying shit over and over because it, 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 it just bothers me. And I just caught myself doing it. But anyway, Edward's up at 9,200 feet in southern Utah up above Cedar City, Utah. He's got 12 cabins up there and a trout lake and the fish are big and the lake's full. Navajo Lake, Utah. He was down here and we were uh, uh, having medical procedures. Uh, the mermaid, myself, and Edward were having our uh, testosterone pellets sewed in. Every four months we do it here in Sedona. Some great people. Healthy outcomes. Um, healthy outcomes is uh, you can do you can do all kinds of, of they do weight loss shots, B12 shots, they do testosterone replacement therapy, they do Botox, they do um, uh, all that kind of stuff that rich people do. <laughs> I don't know how we're doing it because we're not rich people, but, but we do understand it and, and uh, they do the best They do the best job at it here in the state of Arizona as far as I can tell. They are now in Layton, Utah uh, as well and down in the Phoenix area, but we love to come back to the place where we belong, Arizona, Sedona, the Red Rock Crossing, and uh, and we're gonna just do a little pretend Sedona Creek Talk video today, or two. I'm gonna do a couple of them. I'm gonna do a couple, and and hopefully some of you old folks that used to watch the show, uh, will, I'll hashtag it, and maybe you'll see it, and, and we'll get some comments on it. I do have my Wazoo Washington State Cougars shirt on. And that's a whole other topic that's just killing me. Um, the uh, Washington State University Cougars in Pullman, Washington have uh, been displaced somewhat, or not. Maybe they haven't. I think uh, there was 12 teams called the Pacific 12 Conference, and uh, they all left except two, it looks like. Um, Oregon State and Washington State. Now, they may, they, they, it looks like they're going to hold the... All the money that was, that any, if there was any spoils left, they hold all that, and they got the rights to the Pac-12. And and uh, if they do things right, they might be able to build it back as as one of our three uh, or four computer-generated image presidents would say, build back better. We could build the Pac-12 back better. Um, but uh, uh, I find talking about the Pac-12, I think it's great. I think football is going to be starting in about a week. Colorado State, Washington State goes to Colorado State, and I believe they're going to kick the shit out of them. And then University of Wisconsin goes into this little old bitty farm town out in eastern Washington, Pullman, Washington. So you got this big giant school that's I think already pre-ranked number 18 in the nation, and they're going into this little place and supposedly just supposed to kick their ass and, and roll them. Um, problem is is that little bitty old school in eastern Washington State did a home and home with them. And last year they went out to Madison, Wisconsin, the little bitty school, the, the Wazoo Cougars, and they beat them. And they beat them, uh, I don't know about handily, but they beat them in, in Wisconsin. And so uh, I feel pretty good about our, our chances there. Big Washington State Cougar football fan. Um, I just want to just give thanks to God. Jesus, that he created this wonderful place, this mermaid. I mean, anything that's created, God created, right? So, mermaids, cicadas. Um, you know, look, I got a dog over there. I don't know if you see her. Cause I got, oh, there's Terry over there somewhere. Yeah, that's my beautiful dog. He's resting, sleeping, taking a nap. Um, just thank God that he created the crossing, the Red Rock Crossing in Yavapai County. Sedona, Arizona, near the village of Oak Creek, and uh, with this beautiful vortex charged water coming around Cathedral Rock, my feet are in right now, is here, and, and when we come have our, our medical procedure where we, we, we uh, inject testosterone, uh, we, we, we put, I put 2,200 milligrams of uh, testosterone into my right buttock or gluteus maximus uh, upper muscle. 
and that will uh, uh, that'll keep me cranking for about four months. And, and I got a cabin to build and golf course to begin to build and bathrooms to finish remodeling. And I got to uh, keep breeding the mermaid, of course, you know, because mermaids are very horny creatures. If you don't breed them all the time, they'll, they'll swim off and you'll never see them again. So I got to keep doing that. And the testosterone does help, you know, with the mermaid situation. Um, but, uh, hey, here at Sedona Creek Talk, we're really trying to figure out what in the hell is going on. We're going to do a secondary show. This is kind of a, a practice show. Well, we used to do them every day, and we were really more comfortable with it back then. Um, so we don't do them anymore at all. So we'll do this one here, and uh, we'll come back. The cicadas will be here. Uh, Terry, the dog, she might be waked up. The mermaid. Man, look at that. Those mermaids, they lay back and they get that sun on them. They get all worked up. You better have some testosterone in you for that action. But here at Sedona Creek Talk, we're trying to figure out what in the hell is going on. And remember, more than ever, things may not be what they seem.